Greater till Franz, go with 5301. Back to East 28, Denver approach, reduce speed to 250, point of visual 35, lost off, and there's a 284. Go ahead, 59, 535, lost, go with 6280. Back to East 280, and fighting 020, vector sequence, descend and maintain 15,000. 020 heading and down to 15,000, sky was 5280. Yeah, 2285 fighting 090, vector final, descend and maintain 13,000, 13,000. 090 on the heading and down to 13,000 now for United 2285. Alright, the two you took that, United 2285, I got your back. Runway 35 right localizing. 325 uh, on, just have to localize the runway 35 right, I'll make 0650. For, and uh, understand you got there, it couldn't be a little late there. Uh, just do your best to make the option. Speed, you got 6385. 84. United 750, contact Denver Center, 133.95. 2282, maintain 170 knots or greater to France. 170 or better to France, because there's 282. If, uh, just fighting 090, maintain 13,000, 13,000. 090. 5 4, Roger, you can prove. Pass 267, C60, descending via the uh, logger with information cross track. That was 5798, kind of approach 120.8, good day. 20.8. Yeah, 2364, kind of approach 123.85, good day. Yeah, 267, Denver approach, plan A, vigil approach, 235, right off the meters, it's 2984, Fox Trust, current. Okay, with 5285, it helps you out, you can delete all the speeds, just press time on, it's 210 now. Yeah, 2364, Denver approach, fighting 050, back to the final, center, maintain 13,000. 050, heading 113,000, United 2364. Airport, 1 o'clock, 25 miles. Uh, we have the airplane inside, uh, the fill inside, Amico 658. Air Mexico 658, Roger, joined final on this heading, cleared visual approach, runway 35 right. Okay, with pressing heading, visual, uh, clear for visual approach, runway 35 right, Amico 658, thank you. Sky City 301, traffic ahead to your left for the parallel runway at France, contact tower 133.3, have a nice day. Traffic in sight, tower 333 at France, Sky City 301. Southwest 4476. Descend to maintain 13,000. Maintain 10,000. Yeah, 2285, fighting 080. Five. Yeah, with 5280, reduce speed to 210. Four to 210, sky with 5280. Okay, was 5274, then we're approached. Climb the RNAV, blue runway 34, right off the meters at 284. 13, climb speed level 230. American 1173, reduce speed to 210, contact approach 120.8. Good day. Ground to uh, 190, ground 208, American 1173, good day. And that speed was 210 knots. 210, sorry about that. American 1173, good day. Toll for 11, slot at 210. American 11, 73, Denver approach, play on the visual approach, runway 35, right? Visual 35, right, American 11, 10. 173. Sound 5798, reduce speed to 170. Slow to 170, 5798. United 2364, turn off heading 020, set runway 35, left localizer. 020, uh, intercept 35, left localizer, and verify out to clearance for United 2364. United 2364 after slow and descending 10,000. 10,000 after slow, thanks. 2364. Denver approach United 2285, level 13,000, heading 080. United 2285, Denver approach, fighting 050, descending 040, vector to final, descending 12,000. 040, descending 12,000, United 2285. Last 984, at diamond contact tower 133.3. 333, decimal 3, thank you, and lighting 9 or 84. All right, right, turn 325 to join final cleared visual 35 right. We've got the bus in sight. Hey, down 92, good day. You're greater till diamond sky 62. Traffic inside, I'm going to go 6 
Can Express one two six point one. Fast track twenty five. Can Express one two six point one. Hey, Das, what's up, buddy? Long time no talk. <laughs> yeah, that is cool, though. I was reading, I did read your last couple of messages about the uh, little na nav map, and that, it is cool. But like you had uh, mentioned, there's, you know, you're going to have three different apps running, and I have basically the same. I've got Flight Plan Go on my iPad. I have my second monitor full of Sim Toolkit Pro. And then I have my laptop on my right side, that has, uh, what is this called? Navigraph charts. And I got the sim link for that. So yeah, I don't know where I would put another map, honestly. And good night for you. How you doing there? Happy Saturday to you, my friend. We're doing a little FedEx action. Had to reload the sim from scratch because I updated the plane and uh, had to re authorize it so all that should be good now yeah it looks all right so let me get this switched over so yeah let me put this on and then i'll log in let me log in to Potage. Connected to Pilot Edge. All right, that's connected. And then let me do this. It's probably going to be a black screen. Yep, it's going to take a second. Usually, uh, I would already have it kind of like preloaded. There we go. And let's spin the OpenGL around. <clears throat> See if my preferences help. Appear so. Traffic Global doesn't put any other freighters around. That's all right. Uh, let me connect my SIM toolkit. Connect to SIM. Connect X plane. Uh, flight planning download a 306 pottage fly stream copy and let's see if I can get this thing to pop up there we go okay So let's uh, get this thing. Ah, oh, I forgot. All right, that doesn't actually. Pounds, save, settings. Let's see, it doesn't save. Pounds, uh, IRS real, uh, on, on, on. One man crew, so why would we not? Uh, EFB active indication, I don't know what the hell that means. No through steering, correct. No nope. shadows, I'll leave that off. And thrust, um, I like 500. And uh, I like that on. And save, turn, ground ops, and air stair, fuel truck. All 
All right. So, what do we got going on here? I need uh, I need to file. I need to file. So, let's come back over here. I'm gonna go to Simbrief and zero fuel eight two seven six. I forgot to print out my load sheet for PDF form so you guys could see it. So um, that's all right. I usually do it. So two seven six zero one six. So that's close enough. So we'll go with that. Oakland, Ontario. We're gonna file that flight plan, and we'll use this to get our fuel and weather. And then we're going to try to use this uh, thing here to get a digital clearance, what have you. So we're going to do 24-1 for fuel. And zero fuel weight is 276. That's correct. Cargo is 74.9. Come down here. Oakland, Powered Edge, 3022. And we're going to plan runway 30, and that's with information echo. Of course, we'll get an updated one. And that's departing 30, so that works. And Ontario, um, we're going to look for 26 left. So I think I already. Uh, I think I already logged in, so Pallet Edge, FedEx, Slant Lima, 31,000, we're a heavy, and this little PCP, P, PCP, <laughs> PCP, we're going to be wired, apparently, uh, so that is what this thing is, uh, and I haven't had much luck with it with my weather program running. Um, but I haven't started my weather program, so I'll start my weather program after we get this filed. As a matter of fact, yeah, that's fine. So we're going to click that. It's for turboprop, turbojet only. Candle 4, lotion, blah, blah, blah. And everything else looks hunky-dory. So we're going to file. So that is on file. And then we... That's weird. It's online. I think my uh, laptop has, the, yeah, my laptop has the planes on it. I don't, I don't know what that deal is. So, all right, that's filed. So, let me see. I'll, uh, I'll come back to that. Let me get the plane power powered up, and then we'll come back and check for our clearance on that. So back to the sim, <clears throat> and then we'll pop on some batteries. And external power is available. Nav logo. Get some uh, light on the subject. Uh, we'll come up here and Get the uh, nav going. Wait for on bat. And on 
combat. Once we get this powered, then we'll check back on the PDC. And there's all three. And this is the latest version. I think I said that. Version 1.1.2, one, one, I think. All right. Nav lights, IRS, uh, grounds. We can talk to the ground peeps. And I need to set this for that. And then we need to come down here. And we need to do Oakland to Ontario. We'll pop that there. And then we'll start the aligning process. And Oakland. Just open up the airport, and at the top it shows 3743. That's right, and 122.13, so that is right. So we're gonna align, and now we've got six minutes till the alignment is done because you can't turn on the uh, pitch trim until the alignment is completely done. Clear out that. And now we'll come back and um, we'll come back and finish this up. I want to get the clearance. Let me see what you wrote here. Actually, I have an easier time reading it over here. Oh, loaded up FSC flight to see if I could get one of my planes out of lockdown. And ortho for XP messed up the file. Now rebuild it. Oh crap! I I make backups of everything. Uh, oh, it looks like nav compass was the issue with the new ortho. It didn't have it installed on the new OS, so it never converted to DDS. Oh, that makes sense. That would definitely break things. But why not error out the generation? <laughs> if you're ever on Arc Linux base or someone else is that views your stream they'll want nvidia textures tools gi from the aur that contains the nv compress for native compression that was a new scenery i made yesterday all my old scenery is perfectly okay aur arch user repository is that a link that you can put on here i don't know because I don't know what that is. All right, let's um, come back and see if we can get our clearance. Now this has not, this has been very buggy for me. So I don't have a whole lot of confidence in uh, this thing working um, very well. Let me see if I'm showing up on the map on my laptop, which I am, and the plate plan is on file. So let's log in and see what happens. Vax 3650, log in, and KUSA. So now we're just going to wait to get the clearance. I should get the clearance uh, any second now. Well, whenever the... There we go. So we got ATC message. So this is our clearance. And you want to go to page two and hit standby. That way you have more time because this will cancel out after 90 seconds. All right, so we're cleared to Ontario Airport via Candle 4 Lotion, Dennis Fowl. Climb via the SID. Expect 310 10 minutes after. Departure frequency 135.1. All right, cool. So it's working today. It sure didn't work the other day. Um, 
135.1 and we're gonna climb via the SID no other restrictions other than we'll I think top out to 10,000 initial but we'll review that and then our squawk is 3577 3577 all right so we're fine with that so we're going to accept the clearance so we're going to hit accept and and we'll leave it there so we just got our PDC basically is powered edge version of a PDC for right now. It's not a PDC. It's different. You ha PDCs you don't have to acknowledge, but for this one you do. So we're going to head back to the sim. And... Oh, thanks for the link, Das. Uh, it's the reason that Arc has been has such support over the Debian mast. The AUR has libraries of things that normally wouldn't work that other people have compiled code for and works. So is it like that GitHub or Git whatever that opens? Is it like open source something or another? Um, all right, so we're going to call for the loader, but first we need to open up our door. We're going to come back here, and we're going to open. Got our FedEx stuff here. And we need to get our loader coming. And we might as well just uh, load up the cargo. So we're going to go to load sheet, and we're going to we're going to take on board um, two seven six. And our fuel is twenty four one. We're going to load. So now, you come up here, do a fire suppression check on the cargo area. Okay, that works. So we'll turn on our smoke detectors and all that for cargo. And we need to get the we need to get the APU fired up. All right, center fuel, and you'll see when I turn on the APU, it will connect all the batteries. Let's see, it uses battery power, and then we'll hit the start button. APU will kick on. Yeah, we are loading up. Say that again was under the desk plugin in the third monitor. <laughs> Is that for your your new uh, your new nav map? You need a third monitor. <laughs> uh, honestly, I don't remember. Uh, I was just saying. Is that like an open source, that AUR, is it like open source, like Git, GitHub type thing where everybody contributes to it? I know it's a Linux thing. All right, APU is open and running. So we should have APU power, it's available. So... Let's come here and GPS primary. So we're going to do FedEx 3650. And we 
are cleared to 310, cost index 60. The Tropa is TRP, top of climb 40,000 feet at negative 45, so. negative 45 at 40,000 and the cruise is 260 at 69 so we've got that in there do need to turn on the APU bleed Uh, yes, there's the there's the official libraries, and then the AUR is user. AUR is where things like the drivers for Track IR were done into a package. Oh, I st you, you still compiled them yourself. The AUR one is stuck on QT2 quarter second quarter version libraries which are no longer supported so it needs updating it was easier to compile that myself yeah i bet i bet it seems like a, a little bit extra work for linux um for you guys on linux it seems like windows is a little bit more behind the scenes like it does it on its own uh with drivers and such like that all right, APU is on. We don't need max cooling because the I don't even know what the heck the temperature is. Let me see. Temperature is 54 degrees, so that's fine. All right, engine. We've got 17 quarts of oil. Hydro is full. No problems there. Let's log in and get our current and that sound was the uh, cargo door shutting so cargo is done and done ATIS 13377 so 13377 come down here we'll turn that on turn that up turn that up turn that up pop that over three zero three three visual approaches in use ils runway three zero approach in use vfr departures contact clearance delivery need to get the altimeter heading, altitude and if flight following is requested read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions advise on initial contact you have information echo we are with Metropolitan Oakland Airport. Echo, Eight but I, have to, echo. I just need the altimeter right now on the runway. One five zero at five. Visibility one zero. Ceiling one zero thousand broken. Temperature one two. Two point seven. Altimeter three zero two two. Arriving runways two eight left. Two eight right three zero three three. Departing runways two eight left. Two eight right three zero. Okay. So the elevation is nine feet, so altimeter setting is accurate. You can be within 70 and be legal. Legal. Uh, let me see. Well, in general, if you were to boot up a sim and just go, nope, simple enough. Okay. Using the things like track IRs where you get more complicated. So general use, it will work almost seamless as Windows. So long as you have the Dorkarim of common sense. <laughs> yeah. Well... Some of us lack that, that's for sure. All right. My Chromebook keeps losing Wi-Fi connection. Like, it's annoying. I don't know what the heck is doing that. I don't think it's my modem. I think it's the Chromebook update. I'm getting tired of this Chromebook. That's the only other operating system I have is Chromebook. Uh, I use that. For my laptop and Windows, my main computer build here. All right. 
All right, I need to get my A cars going. So we're gonna come over. Let me come over here and I'll show you what the A cars looks like. So we'll come to the A cars and then I have to start this as admin. And then it's connected through FSUI PC thingamabobber. See, something like this, I don't know if this would even work on, I mean, I guess you could have a Linux build. And then we'll start. And then it's connected. And simple as that. And then we'll come back to here. So now the ACARS is started. I'm going to get credit for the flight. I'll come up here and we'll get these on. Galley is on. That's complete. We'll put that to the wind. And we'll turn these uh, things on. And then we'll start our timer because you need five minutes before you change power sources after you turn those on. And now we are ready to put in a flight plan. All right, let me see here. Flight plan time, FedEx, flight plan. We're gonna depart Oakland on Tree Zero via a candle to, is it eBay? No, lotion. So 30 candle lotion insert and then we're gonna do Ontario ILS 26 left from Pettis via the Ziggy 7 arrival from uh, EHF VOR insert okay uh, and then we're going to get rid of the disco between the SID and the star. And then we'll make sure we have a good full flight plan here. It's depicted on that screen. Make sure there's no breaks. All right, there we go. All the way into the ZLA. Put that back to the map. And let's, uh, we have to go to our A cars now and grab our wins. So we're going to go to reference, A cars, win request, pick up our wins. Insert. Play plan. Uh, in it. Page two, block. Fuel is okay. What is wrong? All right, here we go. Twenty-four one zero fuel weight two seven six zero. That's probably uh, twenty-nine point nine, which it is. That's what it just about always is for my cargo load here and then uh, we need a return SID otherwise known as a engine out SID so second flight plan I'm gonna do Oakland via Oakland return second flight plan Oakland star ILS 30 insert now we got ourselves a return SID. And we need to figure out our performance for takeoff. So we'll come over here. Actually, let's go in it. Page two, which is almost 300. So we're gonna send this to perf. And we're at 299. So FMC data is calling for runway 30. We're going to get our winds and we'll update this once we're uh, 
holding short. We have to download the latest weather, but I can't do that with the other thing running. All right, um, we're gonna do flaps 15-0. That will be off, and we're gonna flex, and the runway is dry. Let's see if those winds are correct. Since my weather injector is not turned on, 220 at four. I'll just update this again when I activate my weather program. So we'll just set this up for 54. Actually, let me uh, send to FMC and come up here, bring this up to what is a V2 plus 20, I think someone told me the other day, but I do it my own way. And I'll take this up to 10,000. Profile, we're gonna go with heading and nav. And our initial heading on this SID is 278. So program, okay, three zero for quick reference. So that gives our distance and bearing to the threshold of runway 30 in case we need to come back around real quick. Autopilot is set up. We can change power sources now, as long as we're over five minutes and we are just at five now. So we'll reset the timer and our power is ready to switch. So we'll let the ground crew know so we don't electrocute them. Disconnect. Running off APU now. And flex 54. Get the fuel pumps on. Doubting whether or not I should get into FSC or not. That tends to be the kicker for me. I get caught up and then burned out. But without it, I have issues deciding where to fly. Yeah, FS economy is great when it comes to random airports, going places that you normally would not plan on going. Um, so that's kind of fun. Uh, but I know where you're coming from. Obviously, after talking about <laughs> how much money you owe, but then again, you may mention that with a cargo run in the Challenger, you make like 18 grand or something, right? So it's, it could be worse for sure. All right, let's go to ground ops and we'll get rid of all this stuff. All those doors will shut. Let me verify my A cars is indeed running on my laptop. which it is. And we'll do an emergency light check. Where is it? Okay, that works. And we're going to close this door. And we'll give her a lock. There we go. Locked up tight. We'll call our pushback truck. Route of cockpit, plan acknowledged. Call me through the menu when you are ready. Ground to cockpit, tow is driving up. Alrighty.
got that guy driving up, so we're going to do... Let me show you the departure for this. Pretty straightforward SID. Candle 4. So 10,000, so 520 feet, or two, it'd be below 2,000 until after candle. So I'm going to reset that for 2,000. Then we'll climb to 10,000 because our, our PDC said climb via. So we, I'm going to set 2,000 so we don't blow that restriction. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed, ready to connect. And then we'll be on the lotion transition. And... Uh, Everything else is pretty standard, so let's uh, change this to 2,000 so we don't bust that. And then we'll do a fire check on engines one and two. Alright, fire check one. Fire check two. Check two. It's good to go. So connected and bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake. Turn our beacon light on. And we are safe to push. Here we go. Ignition. Crank on engine two. Got wind up. 20 and two will add fuel. And ground control is 121.75. So I will pop that over. There's 18. King's to departure method position as file climb via Z. Expect flight level 34010 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 119.2, Spark 6537. Need N1 rotation prior to 60% and 2. Point nine one on nine point two squat six five three seven. Got rotation, so we're looking good. Delta one thirty two, read that correct. Doors are shut. Generator will be popping on on uh, engine two. Walker four sixty three, uh, contact Glacier Tower. When we get to 20, there we go. We'll so light up engine and one. Contact Salt Lake Center 128.72. Operation complete. Set. Parker Tower Walker 463. We're on the ILS runway two, and we'd like to circle the land runway one two. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. Walker 463. Looks here. like the trail here. Uh, wind one. That's five, still zero, too loud. Seven. Here, this, let me add fuel here. There Okay, circle southwest of the field for a right downwind to 12 Walker 463. Looks like track IR TBM issue was more Vulcan. Switch back to the open GL and it is smooth as other planes in Vulcan. We'll have to mention this to Toto. Yeah, I seen uh I've seen you in his Discord. Um or no. I saw you in the Powered Edge Discord channel uh, talking to Keith, I think, um, about the fan GUI thing that I, you know, I was showing you for the clearance. You were talking to him about that, but yeah, Toto is. Um, he's he hasn't released the the uh, stable version yet, so. But it's it's definitely close. And he's really good about getting these betas out. I'm still using beta number seven because it really works fine for me. So until he releases the the stable version, I'm going to stick with the current beta that I'm running on the TBM. All right. Our transponders. 
get my weather program started so so I don't have any other messages so I'm going to close out the fans GUI and close that out and then I can go to That's not going to do it. Desktop, FS Global Real Weather. To update my weather and then update my performance. And then we'll be ready to rock goes uh, southwest guy taking off number 643 Charlie Romeo I think we were under a different call sign I request some of our clearance to Salt Lake City with information off it's traffic global by the way all right let me connect the weather to the sim someday Departure frequency 135.1, Glock 7225. We're going to set flaps. Just slats, really. And that door is shut. Alright, weather is finally connected, so I'm going to update the weather. That will set all the clouds appropriately, and then we're going to go back to performance, and we're going to get our up-to-date weather, and then I'll redo the uh, performance. Because for whatever reason, my weather program, FS Global Real Weather, does not work with the fans GUI. It just does not work. All right, so that's updated, so we're going to compute. And then we're going to send data to FMC. Flex 54 down. Trim is down 8. So we'll trim down almost to 1. And all that is good for takeoff. We're going to VR at 165. It's fine. And we'll come up here. And the wipers are a okay. Trim is set. Flight control check. Okay. Do engine looks good. Hydro is good. Oh yeah, I need to turn off the APU, so bleed is off, APU off, come back down here, and bleed air is looking good, air conditioner is good, cabin pressure is good, feel is good, doors are shut. Like the visual for uh, seven right, if able. All right, we got flaps are set. I need taxi lights on. And I need to set the, um, let's see here, joystick A306. Okay, it's already set. So I could turn on the light there if I needed it at night. That's still working. APU is off. We'll turn on uh, 
and I'll turn it on anyway. Okay. Let's get our updated ATIS. Wind 210 F4. Visibility 10. Few clouds at 7,500, 10,000 scattered. Temperature 13, 2.7. Altimeter 3020. Arriving and departing runways 28 left, 28 right, 3033. Visual approaches in use. ILS runway 30 approach in use. VFR departures contact clearance delivery. Advise on course heading, altitude, and if flight following is requested. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instruction. Advise on initial contact you have information Foxtrot. All right. Current with Foxtrot. Pleasure Tower Walker 463, clear 12 at Bravo, taxi to the jet center. Walker 463, taxi to the Jet Center via Bravo and uh, monitor ground. Bravo to the Jet Center, monitor ground, Walker 463, thanks. Oakland ground, FedEx 3650 heavy at cargo with Foxtrot ready to taxi. FedEx 3650 heavy, Oakland ground, runway 30, taxi via Bravo Whiskey. 30 via Bravo Whiskey, FedEx 3650 heavy. We're a poet and didn't know it. San Jose Ground, Skyhawk 823 Untangle, holding short of 30 left at Bravo, ready to go. November 8231 Tango, San Jose Tower, runway 30 left, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 30 left, 31 Tango. Follow this guy. And uh, he's going the long way. Hmm. The 488 Hotel Pops for heading 180 to center maintain 7000. 180 down to 7,000, 8 open, All right, pitch trim is set, rudder trim zero, spoilers are not armed. We'll do that at the runway. Uh, flaps are set, ECAM status, we'll do that in a little bit. Anti-ice, we'll do that in a little bit. Chromebook just lost internet connection again. I don't know what the deal is with that. For Niner 48 3 Sierra, tell you right, Alpha Niner 3009 or five show weather and see bridge request. Yankee or Zulu? Uh, A3C affirmative, are you looking for the Yankee or Zulu? Uh, external, explain, maps, airport, there we go. Holy crap. Sir, A3C, do you want to see pressure from cones or do you have That's a what happens out? when you're not paying attention. I'm a horrible driver, apparently. Okay, who is it requesting a cat fly for? There are 868 Victor Lima, I for cancellation is received as well, the fire fixed change approved.
Three one Tango, radar contact, and contact North Carolina departure. North Carolina departure, three one Tango. All right, we'll turn those on, and then we'll do a takeoff config check. Takeoff is normal. TAM eight Hotel Papa, Phoenix Airport is off your ten o'clock, one more miles of flight. We don't need ignition because it's not bad weather. We'll turn on our landing lights and strobes. Departure, Skyhawk 823 on Tango with you, uh, 2100 climbing, 2500. Flex 54 is still good. Any eyes? Alright, our. Alright, 8231 Tango, Marcal departure, uh, 19 appropriate vehicle officers and modification. 272 is okay. tower. And departure. San Francisco Ground, good day. 1351. Charlie Romeo is coming out of the signature FBO with information off already for taxi. Great, GCR. There's where it comes. Uh, unfortunately, I'll have to get you a little higher here. So, uh, maintain uh, 16,000, common maintain 16,300. Winds 220 at 4. Phoenix approaching, Hotel Papa, I have the field. There are 643, Charlie Romeo, San Francisco ground. Runway 1, taxi via Charlie, Delta, Bravo, Mike 1. Cross runway 28 right at Delta, cross runway 28 left at Delta. Or can you uh, save the departure runway again for 643 Charlie Romeo? 643 Charlie Romeo, runway one left. Sorry, eight Hotel Papa, the official approach runway seven right, establish final contact tower. Clear visual seven right, uh, we'll contact tower, establish it, Hotel Papa. Sir, A3 Sierra to direct cones, off cones at 16,300, cleared RNAV Yankee runway nine approach. Alright, 3 Sierra, clear direct cones, cross cones at 16,300, cleared, RNF Yankee, runway 9 approach. It's waiting on my time. Alright, 2 Sierra, Bravo, contact, uh, uh, Shunak approved, 123.8. Three one Tango, did you want to continue for your following? That's affirmative, and I'd like to transition the uh, Bravo on the Bayshore route. Roger. Oakland Tower, FedEx 3650 Heavy, holding short 30. FedEx 3650 Heavy, Oakland Tower, runway 30, clear for takeoff. 30, clear for takeoff, FedEx 3650 Heavy. Challenger 643 Charlie Romeo, runway 1 left, Charlie Delta Bravo Mike 1, cross 28 right and 28 left of Delta. Alright, so we're going to turn the packs off. 462 Sierra Bravo, Chinook approach, Yakima altimeter 3003, uh, visual weather and do you have a bridge request for your destination? 3003, we have weather at Sunnyside and uh, approach request for visual into runway uh, 7, number 622 Sierra Bravo. Number 2 Sierra Bravo, Roger. Uh, clear direct sun to the Cinefox discussion, maintain uh, 5000. Direct sun down to the south, number 622 Sierra Bravo. Bring the engines up to about 50%. Tower, November 40, Hope I'll pop a visual 7 right. TVM488 Hotel Papa, Phoenix Tower, uh, wind very below 3, runway 7 or 8, clear to land. Clear to land, 7 right, 8 Hotel Papa. And then we'll set 80%, take off the brakes, be on our way. Hotel 710 Oakland Center, thank you. 
The four layer number nine and four eight three CR report established from bridge course. Gotta make sure you don't tap the brakes. Otherwise your arm the spoilers will deploy and it makes for a challenging takeoff. V1, rotate. Positive right. Gear coming up. And we've got 300 feet. 400 feet. On a powered on. Hold up to speed at 230 knots. And we'll turn these back FedEx on. 3650 heavy contact departure. Over to departure, FedEx 3650 heavy seal. All right, 35, 10. NorCal departure, FedEx 3650 heavy, climbing via this candle four, leaving 1,900. FedEx 3650 heavy, NorCal departure, radar contact, climb via six, at maintain flight level one nine zero. Climb via this hit, except maintain flight level one nine or zero, FedEx 3650 heavy. All right, after this turn, we'll go up to 10,000. We set our landing gear to the middle position. Thank you, Antonio. Contact NorCal approach one three five point six five. Undo our spoilers. 135.65 through untangle. Yeah, packs are back on. After we make this turn, we'll take out the the rest of the flaps. Boise clearance delivery. Mooney 411. Now we can go up to 10,000. Looking to get squat code and frequency for VFR departure with flight following. Over to Jackson at 13,500 Information Hotel. Pick up the pace to 250. There's four one one top hang straight, Boise clearance, departure frequency one one nine point six, walk one seven four five. One one nine point six and one seven four five for the take flock. out the flaps. Mooney four one one pop X ray. Mooney one pop X ray, V back track. Phoenix Tower, Delta Papa Clear, Golf 4, heading to Swift. Yeah, we have to be below 10,000 at port. Air e Papa, That's 10,000. As you can see here, uh, taxi, hotel, below 10,000. NorCal approach, uh, Skyhawk AQ3 on Tango with you, uh, level 2,500. Smooth as butter takeoff. <laughs> well, mine, I drifted left and right once in the air. Need to figure out why I did. Probably crosswind. I didn't check the winds. Yeah, that's probably what it was. Because um, I know, like, if you put in any rudder on the takeoff roll, as soon as you let off rudder in the air, the nose will, like, very quickly turn into the wind, like a, like a moored sailboat. So it's from what it sounds like, it sounds like it was a uh, crosswind issue. Via the Bay Shore uh, VFR transition and maintain VFR. All right, flex is in climb, so we're good there. Terrain mode is off. And we'll turn on the weather for the heck of it. So and 31 Tango is cleared through the uh, Bravo with the Bay Shore transition, uh, maintain at or below 3,500. Test is good, so we'll turn that on to weather. Good afternoon, clearance delivery. Stop at 346 uh, with information hotel looking for RFR clearance to Los Angeles, please. Oh, it was, <laughs> yours was a bank, so like airlines were off. Been almost a year 
need to refresh my skills. Yeah, man, that's what it's about. The uh, problem, November, my, the winds for my takeoff was only four knots, so I didn't worry about any wind correction in the airline. But yeah, so if the if you have a left crosswind, then you would do yeah, well. I can't. It doesn't move when autopilot's on apparently. But you do left airline, right rudder for a left wind crosswind takeoff. Southwest 346, Salt Lake City, uh, clearance clear to Los Angeles International Airport. Uh, Zion 1, departure, Enoch, transition, as file. Maintain 10,000, expect flight level 3401, zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 128.1, squawk 465, do not exceed 230 knots after departure. Uh. Sorry to, uh, buddy. Can you repeat that again one more time? You coming in, but you was a little broken on my end. So for three forty six. So the three forty six. You need the full clearance or just the route? Mm -hmm. Oh, the full clearance. Mm -hmm. Up in the so air is twenty nine diagonal. Los Angeles International Airport Zion yeah. one departure not transition as filed. Maintain well, I say airlines, but I mean crosswind rather than uh, P toward from the TBM rudder issue. Well, the, the turning of the, 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 of the uh, we can go up to flight level 190 now. The turning of what am I trying to say here? Charlie, three Charlie, one when the TBM pulls to the left, it's because of the, the propeller turning clockwise or counterclockwise, whatever that physics is. Um, and that's right, one reason. So you can have crosswind, the, uh, and then you have the force of the propeller Friday, spinning. There's a one departure, naturally, it's in Clavier to Six, I mentioned Clavier to Theater. I expect 3401 after departure. Departure frequency is on uh, 128.5. Uh, the net exit 230 is on the other departure. Turn off our lights here. Southwest 346. Southwest 346, the departure is Zion 1 departure. Transition Enoch, Echo, Hotel Kilo, then as filed. Maintain 10,000, <coughs> 10,000. Pressure. And the frequency is 128.1. Gun pressure is climbing. All is well. And settings and lower this sound a bit. Alright, so much for say if we got in actress and uh and squawking four six six five and departure frequency will be one to eight point one. Oh, you know about the P torque? It wasn't that I had it trimmed in rudder in for that. Oh, okay. Um, if it's twenty knots when you got up in the air, then that had to have been remnant, you know, at maybe uh, even a six knot crosswind will affect a TBM. So it might not be a bug, it might just be the crosswind. Oh, these clouds look pretty cool. Alright, so for 246, uh, sorry for the uh, interruption. We'll get to Los Angeles by the uh, Zion 1 departure in action. Uh, climb, you had to see the uh, extra flight level 3401 after departure. Uh, departure against you one two eight point one. Do not exceed two three zero knots under departure and squawk four six five. must be taken off from Salt Lake City because three forty six almost. There is no climb via SID. It's maintain. Your initial altitude is maintain one zero thousand. Maintain one zero thousand. Southwest three forty six. Southwest three forty six. Read that correct. All right, Oakland is 
127, 45. Taxi currently parked at the Jackson Probably get that Jet next. Center off of Alpha 6. I had it. Tr oh, never mind. I already read that. Mooney 4, Walmart, Pop X Ray, Boise Ground, runway 10 left taxi. Uh, Alright. Alpha Whiskey. Slats, gear, packs, uh, altimeters. You're good. Pop X -ray. Coming up to transition, so go standard. Tower, Challenger 613, Charlie Romeo's holding short of one left on mic one, ready to go. Seatbelts off. Six four three Charlie Romeo, San Francisco Tower, runway one left, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff one left, uh, three Charlie Romeo. Three one taking contact North Cal approach one three five point one. One three five point one for three one taking off. Six six fifty heavy contact Oakland Center one two seven point four five. Oakland Center one two seven point four five FedEx thirty six fifty heavy. Oakland Center, FedEx 3650, flight level 190. FedEx 3650, Oakland Center, climb and maintain flight level 310. Climb and maintain flight level 310, FedEx 3650. Start with about 900, get the engine to go up, and then you can increase your vertical speed without losing a whole lot of forward momentum. It takes a while for this thing to spool up. That's why I like this plane. You gotta like, even with autopilot, you feel like you have to fly the plane. It's not like uh, a modern Airbus for sure. Zero three seven up. Just your back. Zero six two two zero Roger. I fly cancellation after sea break. So says air terminated. Walk VFAR, frequency change approved. Ontario. Wind calm. Nice weather at Ontario, so that's cool. No issues at Ontario. Fallen Warrior, how you doing there, bud? How are you this Saturday afternoon? We're getting a little FS, uh, FS economy. FedEx action going on. Doing some FedEx credit through my A-cars. Powered Edge, and we're going to be coming into the busy ZLA here soon. It's always an uh, interesting approach because uh, once I get to the LA center, they'll probably tell me to cross Palmdale VOR at like 10 miles northwest at a certain altitude, so I'm going to have to do some magic in the FMC to make that happen because there's no waypoint that's exactly 10 miles from the Palmdale VOR so you basically have to make one so that's going to be interesting we're starting to lose a little bit of our speed so we're going to knock this down to 2,000 feet per minute Let's see if we can maintain our forward speed For A231 Tango North Hopperage. For A231 Tango North Hopperage, uh, Oakland Altimeter. Uh, 3020 leaving for race base, reason one of the days you may see inappropriate free for altitudes. Flying up down, I guess we down the coast. Hmm. So we're heading south. Southeast. Right now. Right, we're 
We're still at 280. Let's bring this to there, and then we'll go to level change. Southwest Seventeen, to send via Diamond Five arrival. The same via the Diamond Five arrival, Southwest Seventeen. I think they've uh, improved the flight model with this update. This plane was broken with the latest Eric, so they had to put out a fix and seems like it's a little smoother of a transition here even with the flight level thing so that's good Oakland Walker 340 level 360 uh, here's aviator My favorite controller just signed online. Walker 340, Oakland Center, thank you. Oh, actually, level. he didn't sign on. He's so flying. Three, Walker 348. Probably not watching my stream right now. Contact, contact departure. Coming up to 31 thou. Four one one pop X ray radar contact contact big sky departure. Yeah, I figured I'd stream today since I didn't stream yesterday. I think it's a traffic Four global. Four one one pop X ray big sky departure maintain for previous altitude. Request flight level 180 for weather. Hmm. See ya. Who is calling for altitude change? Yeah, it's 90483, Sarah, request flight level 180 for weather. All right, let's put our TCAS on all. And our... We're in CR, uh, which is cruise. I'm going to say 17,000. If you don't get better, just let me know. We're going to try 17,000 for 83, Sarah. Thank you. Destination, altitude. Say arrival and approach ILS 2399, contact left. Salt Lake Center 135.7. South. 944. 3577, Southwest 4399. So we'll do a thousand feet. There's 3 contact Oakland Center 132.2. So that is set. Challenger 3 Charlie Romeo, contact Oakland Center 132.905. And we'll push this out a little bit further. Four times, 4399, flight level There's our full route. Charlie 4399, Salt Lake Center, thank you. So, like I said, we'll probably get an instruction to cross Palmdale. 10 miles or something, and that would look like, uh, let me see, we're doing the, um, Ziggy, 7, Palmdale, so you'll see here this is 36 miles between Lando and Palmdale. So 
when they say cross Palmdale 10 miles hang on let me lower this the volume is super low I mean super high um, all right so when they say cross 10 miles before Palmdale there's no waypoint to do that so once I get that instruction I'll show you how to do it and the main thing is you know the reciprocal of this uh, magnetic direction or the radial so this is radial 295 so you subtract 180 degrees and that would be 295 minus 180 so that uh, course would be 115 oh actually it's 295 Palmdale that's outbound so you, yeah you so I need uh, no that is right so we would use 295 because that would be the direction from Palmdale so the right the direction is 295 all right 295 so if you needed to add a waypoint after Palmdale then you would use 104 but since it's before it's 295 because radials go clockwise out from a VOR DME type thing um, so it's going to be before so usually so I'll put in 295 uh, and like I said I'll show you how to do that once we get there all right I don't think she's there. Thank you. I'll go ahead and resend it. If you could just um, catch it before it, it automatically rejects, that's probably what happens. Yeah, that's why I. Um, what she's talking about is that PCP, not PT, PDC program. So I always hit standby. That way it doesn't disappear. The clearance will automatically disappear after 90 seconds if you don't accept it. But if you hit standby, then you can accept it whenever you feel like it. So. Top of the set be about Zardy, so we don't need the second flight plan anymore. So we're going to clear that out, and then we're going to um, we're going to update our winds. And we'll clear that out, uh, and then we'll insert. And then we go to second, and we're going to Ontario. So I'll put that in there. And then uh, that way we can have. Phoenix 3650, contact Los Angeles Center, 133.2. LA Center, 133.2, FedEx 3650. I'll see you. 33. Two. And we'll wait a second, make sure we don't step on anybody's toes. All right. LA Center, FedEx 3650, flight level 310. FedEx 3650, LA Center, Roger. Cut. Let's see. Can check this out. Delta Echo Tango Kilo, Charlie, Center of Orbit Departure, Radar Contact, Climate Maintain 5000. Come back here, you got these jump seats. That'd be cool if you could put the seats down. Do have a lavatory. 
which is kind of funny. Alright, let me get D Atis, which I wish I could do in the cockpit. I can do it in the uh the Flight Factor Airbus, but uh just because that one has a um a browser. A V Tab would be nice to have a browser. Does does anyone know if A V Tab has a browser yet? Um because I haven't updated that in a long time, so it might have a browser now. I just don't know about it if it does. All right, D Adis for Ontario. Atlanta Tango Kilo Charlie flying zero three zero vectors for uh, San Marcos VOR. Arriving, departing two sixes. Visual approaches are in use. Right, so we'll uh, request visual approach thirty nineteen for uh, altimeter. And We're choosing to go after Paradise Delta. 2425. Okay. Um. Choose seven army fog shots, so call departure, resume on navigation, and appropriate VFR altitudes. So two six left missed approach if I were to do an ILS, which I don't think I'm going to. I'm gonna request a visual. Um client two thousand two hundred, then left turn direct to four thousand or direct to Paradise VOR at four thousand. So if you go missed, you fly straight to 2200 and then you go left turn down here to the paradise VOR and it'll be a uh, right traffic like most holds up to 4000 so what I do is I write down 2200 dash left dash 4000 so I'll just reset MCP for 4000 but I'll know how high to go before I make that left turn for obstacle clearance And if we were to land the other way, let's see if that has, so that would be 26, oh wait, I'm looking at this upside down. November 8, A1 Alpha Tango, cross San Marcos, um, that's 6,000, cleared localizer, DME, back eight, north Alpha. Right, if the car goes on the south side. 8 right doesn't have an ILS, so it would actually be 8 left. Um, if I were to do an ILS for going the other direction, we would do 8 left. So you can do 2nd, 2nd, Ontario, star, 8 left, um, insert, and then there's our landing the other way if we need that. Tango, Tango Kilo Charlie, climb and maintain 6,000 and say approach request at Santa Maria. Delta Echo Tango Kilo Charlie, climb and maintain 6,000 and say approach request at Santa Maria. Delta Echo Tango Kilo Charlie, roger. November 822 Victor Alpha, just going to maintain 5,000. Alright, what's the next frequency? 
12527 is usually the next frequency. Now you don't have to know the centers because they can change on you, but I write them down from prior flights. This is a, a flight that I repeat quite often because it's a FedEx flight on my my FedEx routing that my VA uses. So it's one that I routinely use. So if I'm heading south because of the jet stream, uh, that's usually what determines which way I fly or for FedEx, either north or south, is depending upon the, um, the winds aloft. I don't want a crazy headwind. Um, like today's headwind or today's tailwind is 52 knots so we're being pushed 50 knots so if it was the other direction then I would have flown from Los Angeles into on um, Oakland because um, that's the other way but heading south you gotta fly into Ontario at least with the heavy metal planes But yeah, you don't need to know the actual um, center frequencies, but it does help to have it preset just in case they end up using the one that I had wrote down. All right, so we are approaching EHF, which is the Shafter VOR. So we should be getting a uh, descend to VIA here soon. I should see a top of descent coming up, yeah, right there. So we got about 40 miles till we uh, start on our way down. And fuel. So the waypoint we're coming up to Omega is Tango Shafter. Clear direct San Marcos VOR, cross San Marcos at 6,000, clear localizer, Jimmy, back course 13, Alpha. 13, 1. So we're right on the money on fuel. Let's see what else we got going on here. Good on the engine. Get on the hydro, AC, DC is good, bleed air uh, is good. We're still our main bar sure, radar service is terminated, it's going VFR. Let's turn down the uh, air conditioner a little bit. Cabin pressure is good, cabin altitude is 5,400. Fuel, I already checked that. APU should be off, which it is. Pretty much it. And D Atis was with Delta. Let me see if anything's changed. 3650 cross one zero miles northwest of Palmdale at flight level two four zero. Cross ten miles northwest of Palmdale at flight level two four zero. FedEx 3650. All right, guys, this is what I was going to tell you about. So here's Palmdale. So we need to fly 10 miles before that, right? So we're going to first sync up our heading bug. And then we'll, at Palmdale, we're going to type in PMD. PMD. And that course thing was uh, 2, 9, or 5. And we need 10 miles. So, Palmdale, 295 before Palmdale at 10 miles. So we're gonna punch that in there. So we're gonna go to um, heading mode. And we're gonna Lando and Palmdale. Lando and Palmdale, so we're gonna pop that in there and Palmdale VOR is 114.5 so it's the bottom one that's the frequency for the VOR so that is our special thing so we get rid of the disco 
and then we can go back to a nav and then we'll come down to our new waypoint and we'll uh, click to the right of it and we want to um, at flight level 240 so you see how it shows 240 so that will adjust the top of descent and you'll see now we have a waypoint that's exactly 10 miles prior to Palmdale and if we put that on it will show flight level 240 and that's our top of descent so that's how you add in a uh, special waypoint or whatever you want to call it um, and he's given me that instruction many as times before so that's how I knew how to do that real quick otherwise the first time he told me to do that I was pretty much just guessing I descended early just to make sure so we're gonna bring this down to flight level 240 then when we get to our top of descent when it starts blinking I'll start the process a little bit early I love Orbix Ortho. Some people complain that it's too red. I like it. I think it looks great. All right, we're coming up to our top of descent here. So we're getting a P dub here. Oh yeah, I need to check D ATIS again. That was still it's still Delta. All right, there's a P dev. So we're gonna hit profile. And then that will start a descent Number at 1,000 feet per minute. Clear to John Wayne Airport, Elmu Niner departure, Elmu, and then that's filed. Climb and maintain 4,000, expect 5,000 in one zero minutes. Departure frequency 13.2, squawk T -cas below. Now we're catch, uh, that glide path is going to catch up and we're going to cross at 240. When he says read back correct, I will say I'm leaving our last assigned. We're 378, let me read back correct. LA Center, FedEx 3650, I'm leaving 310. FedEx 3650, contact LA Center 125.27. LA Center 125.27, FedEx 3650. That's why I write them down. All right, 22 Victor Alpha, contact Santa Barbara Approach 120.55. LA Center, FedEx 3650, flight level 29 or 1 for 240. FedEx 3650, Los Angeles Center, Cross Magic at 14000, Ontario Altimeter 3017. Cross Magic at 14,3017, FedEx 3650. All right, so Magic is... 207, Juliet Hotel, uh, San Luis Tower, go ahead. 14,000 at... Five by five. Magic, 14. So we'll come back up here and we'll continue our descent to 14,000. So now magic is one four. Yep, we're good. We are tracking. Four four two seven West King Victor Power Standby. November eight two two Victor Alpha Santa Barbara Approach Santa Barbara Altimeter three zero two zero. And uh, do you have an approach request? Wow, your sim's holding at fifty FPS. That's really good. I'm loading scenery right now, so I, Victor Alpha Cross Gaviota at, uh, 5, even though I'm max, maxing out on the texture memory, I guess I should try more overlay setup. Well, it, you're waiting on RAM, right? You're still using only, what, 16? Or do you actually have the 32 gigs? Um, reason for test flights, <laughs> yeah. So I'm getting 32 FPS in this plane, but... It's all depending upon which model I'm currently flying.
No, oh, you're still running 16? Okay. Yeah, I noticed that my FPS almost doubled when I maxed out my uh, RAM. I went from 16 to 32 also, and it almost doubled my FPS. It's crazy how much performance bump you get just by putting in two sticks of RAM. Like, if you have a single core processor speed and good RAM, that's all you need. And you'll see that waypoint was exactly 10 miles from Palmdale by that art. So that was right on the money. So we're going to continue down to 14,000 now. November 2, Chitango, SoCal approach. Just send to maintain 5,000. And uh, do you want the visual or ILS approach to runway 25 left? Yeah, 127 is our next frequency for SoCal. 27 two, two Tango, Roger. You're uh, one, two miles from gate. Fly heading 270. Maintain 4,000 until established on the localizer. Good ILS to runway 25 left. Approach. There's no icing to worry about. Just maxed out your world object. Still, still holding FPS out there in Arizona. The test will be California. Yeah, the... Um, I can't remember my my world objects are not November they're about they're in the middle Center, one, because eight, they don't render up at these altitudes anyway so it's only when you're low that do world objects November, eight, eight, one, alpha, draw tango, contact, so Kimberly, it's a waste tower, of resources in my opinion to max out world objects unless I am wrong um, but that's my understanding of it, and I'm not saying that that's gospel because I could definitely be wrong. Seven five one, the uniform, LA Center, Catalina altimeter three zero one eight. One eight one, the uniform. All right, ILS two six left for visual assistance is one 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 three five. What a course heading of two fifty eight. So we'll have that ready to roll. And then we'll switch to, let me get our ATIS, see if we can get ATIS yet. Ontario International Airport, ATIS Information Echo. Hello, 3615, Santa Barbara Forest, Roger, I need a little more information on that. Say your altitude currently at and the altitude you're climbing. Few clouds at 5,500, temperature 14, dew 0.4, altimeter 3017. Arriving and departing runway 26 left, 26 right. Visual approach is in use. ILS runway 26 left, runway 26 right. Approach in use. Simultaneous approaches to parallel runways in use. VFR departures contact clearance delivery. Advise on heading. All right. So we're going to change to 3017. Transition level 180. That's when everybody goes to altimeter setting in the U.S. Overseas, it's different. It's like two. It's like seven thousand, five thousand. It's usually on the chart too. All right, let me add in a little bit of speed break so we don't overfly our airframe here. All right, ILS is set and winds at Ontario is calm. I do more GA, don't fly giant tubes like that. My biggest is the CL30. FedEx 3650, heavy contact, SoCal approach 135.4. SoCal approach 135.4, FedEx 3650. 135.4. 615, resume on navigation. Three five point four recurrent with echo. Eight Lima Lima as early at Bakersfield. Two and eight Lima Lima Roger. SoCal approach FedEx thirty six fifty heavy Ziggy seven leaving one five thousand six hundred for one four thousand, and I'm current with echo request visual two six left. FedEx thirty six fifty 
Heavy, SoCal approach after Magic, just to maintain 8,000 and expect back to his visual approach, runway 261. After magic, descend, maintain 8,000. Expect vectors for visual 26 left, backs 3650 heavy. Right, 22 two Victor Alpha, contact set up over tower 119. All right, point after seven. magic, we're going to descend we'll just, uh, to 8,000. So we are set up on the glide path here, or whatever you want to call it. So we have a hard uh, stop at 14. So after that, we'll continue down to 8,000. Right, I went out with Tango, Santa Barbara approach, Roger. After Guadalupe, climb and maintain 4,000. So stay in touch. We'll do seatbelts on. After Guadalupe, climb and maintain 4,000 and uh, stand by on his intentions. Altimeter is good. Cabin pressure is dropping. Everything is in the green. Cross check with pressure. Everything's good. Sync up the heading. Got ATIS. We'll do landing lights at 10,000 feet. And Eight Lima Lima is leaving 8,500. And tower for this is. One twenty point six. So I want to get one twenty point six. They might tell me to have another approach frequency. They might have a final, but I have it on uh, tower just in case they don't. Uh, there's an aircraft made a VFR request. I think uh, I only heard about half of it. I was on the landline take. Uh, 8 Lima Lima call just to let you know I was leaving 8,500. Uh, I don't remember 8 Lima Lima, roger. Contact Baker, shield approach 118.8. 118.8, 8 Lima Lima, see ya. Uh, 8 Lima Lima, see ya. So call departure, Centurion 214, Echo Lima, one mile, uh, two miles west of Bermuda Dunes, uh, VFR request. All right. I'm going to refresh our weather for the area. November 214, Echo Lima, SoCal uh, approach, Squawk 6335, and say request. 6335, uh, request flight following to Van Nuys at 6500. November 4, Echo Lima, Roger, radar right contact, 8 miles south, uh, sorry, 8 miles east of Palm Springs, GOR, and the altimeter there is 3018. 3018, uh, for Echo Lima, thank you. FedEx 3650, heavy turn right, heading 160. Right turn, heading 160, FedEx 3650 heavy. November 2, Chicago, contact 08 Lima, 160. I'll let it do its thing. LA Tower, 120.905. 120.905, number 2, Chicago, contact 08 Lima, 120, sorry, Bakersfield approach, altimeter 30190, Charlie is current. 8 Lima Lima, Bakersfield approach is... Uh, you want to go to ILS to mode? Bakersfield approach or do I need to go to Bakersfield approach? Now that uh, we're on vectors. Lima, you're with Bakersfield. Roger thanks. And we'll go ahead and slow her down. And yeah, Santa Barbara departure 881 Alpha Tango will uh, remain in the hold to plan a diversion to San Luis Obispo. Uh, we'll uh, let you know when we're uh, ready Breaks to go. Breaks are and, uh, out. We're hoping to do the... Um, I'll let you know in a moment which the approach would and be. I'll do landing well, lights. Tango, Roger, just uh, let me know the approach. Seatbelts are ready to go. on. 81 Alpha Tango, Roger. Okay, we're going to override this uh, terrain warning, otherwise, it goes off on final. And 2 6 left here. Sixteen miles, it's fine. Winds are shown up top at current two three eighteen thirteen are good. And we can do flaps one. And 
and that 190 our 200 we can go flaps two FedEx 3650 descend and maintain 5,000. Descend and maintain 5,000. FedEx 90 flaps three. FedEx 3650 turn left heading 260 report the airport inside. Uh, left turn 260 FedEx 3650 heavy? No, I'm sorry, right turn heading 260. Right turn 260 and fields in sight FedEx 3650 heavy. FedEx 3650 heavy, clear visual approach runway 26 left. Clear visual approach 26 left FedEx 3650 heavy. Right, so we're gonna hand fly this. All right, let's do that. Up back, Tango Kilo Charlie, contact uh, Santa Maria Tower on one eight point three. Contact Tower one on eight point three. And auto powered off. Cruise on down. I'm just gonna hand fly this puppy. All right, gear coming down. Add in some more flaps. We got tower on standby, and we're gonna do auto brake low. Arm those things. Technical words. Approach Bonanza, Lima Lima has the field in sight. November 2 and 8, Lima Lima, contact Bakersfield Tower 118.8. Sorry, 118.1. Tower 118.18, Lima Lima, bye. Alright, uh, missed approach. We'll just reset the. Uh, Actually, the MCP is buying at 5,000. Just leave it there. And 142. So 155 is our final. I'll have to get landing clearance. Hand fly this monster. <laughs> it's fun though. This plane, you really gotta fly. On the needles, as they say in the F 18 Hornet. Should probably do some flying tonight in the DCS Hornet. I 
might live stream tomorrow the Hornet too. If I do live stream tomorrow, it will definitely be in the Hornet. There's a uh, mission that I want to try, and it's more of uh, an air-to-air -air combat one. So, cow approach, uh, FedEx 3650 Heavy, can I switch the tower? FedEx 3650 Heavy, contact tower 120.6. 120.6. Ontario Tower, FedEx 3650 Heavy, visual 26 left. FedEx 3650 Heavy, Ontario Tower, runway 26 left, clear to land. 26 left, clear to land, FedEx 3650 Heavy. Clear to land, 30 right, 8 Lima, Lima, thanks. I stepped on him, but I was rushing. Usually I'd wait, but I stepped on the poor guy. Alright. Uh, well, we file, uh, American, we'll that off. Yeah, Alpha, Reversers green, spoilers are out. Indicated slowing. Reversers are full. I'm going to exit up here at Foxtrot. There's 80 knots. Reversers off. Ground is point niner. Turn on the brake fan. APU coming on. Ontario Tower, FedEx 3650 Heavy, looking for cargo straight ahead. Taxi straight ahead and monitor the ground. FedEx 3650 Heavy, see ya. 21.0.9er. We'll move up. Turn off our landing lights, strokes. American 4403, call sign looks good, be advised for airline call signs, you need to group the numbers. So it's not 44, but 4403. Quit to San Diego Airport, watch a departure level transition, then as filed. It's traffic global. Departure frequency 125.9, squawk 7413. American 4403, Boach 8, level uh, 7413 in the squawk and departure 15.9, climb via SID. Okay. Santa Barbara Tower, November 27, Romeo Fox Sharon, currently uh, 30 miles east of the airport and uh, we're a full stop with information, Victor. All right. Sorry, I had to ignore chat on that landing. A round trip on a TBM got you 7,000. 31k, I think, to get my my own out of the impound. <laughs> 50k to get the CO30. Nice landing, Fallen Warrior says. Hey, thanks, bud. Yeah, I was happy with that landing to see what the uh, FedEx A car says for actually this should tell me what the landing rate was 309 that seems a little harder than what it was but I don't think that's right put that clear that out and we'll turn off those lights those lights 
APU is available. Kill the engines. Turn the bleed on. Keep the air conditioning going. Seat belts can come off. And we will call the uh, air stairs. All right, so my FedEx eight cars, I can stop that now. Yeah, that FedEx says 219 feet per minute. That sounds a little better. So we'll send the flight report. So that is done. Clear that out. We'll sign offline. We'll see a replay of that. So. That and we'll end the weather program. We'll come up here, turn that off, and we'll turn those. Leave those on for the APU. Uh, turn that off. We'll turn off the oxygen. And we'll turn off our nav data. All that is good. And then we can turn off the APU. And we'll shut her down. Okay. And let's uh, go ahead and close that. Get rid of that. We'll leave the chalks. And we'll do a replay. Hit pause, replay, and see what the landing look like from the outside. Too far. I love this plane. This is probably the most fun plane that I fly currently. Next to the tallest A321 with the co-pilot, that's pretty fun too, actually. Yeah, I'm happy with that landing, that looked good. Spoilers, everything popped up. Everything was set right for once. I think I actually adjust the flaps till I get down to the end. Spoilers should pop down. I'm just curious if the rewind actually captures the animation. Weird artifacts, but it's all right. All right, let me make sure that FedEx took. It should show I am now at Ontario, which it does. I think I reset the flaps after I started taxiing. Hmm. It might be an issue with the playback. 
because I know I uh, adjusted those. Yeah, it might be a playback thing. It still shows. It's interesting. Huh. Yep. I don't know. It's a playback issue. Alright, guys. Well, that was a good flight. Appreciate you hanging out with me, uh, Das and Fallen Warrior. Appreciate the chat as always. That's why we do this. Talk shop. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm gonna go take a break and uh, see if I, if you if you see me streaming tomorrow, it will be some military aircraft and we'll blow some stuff up. All right, y'all. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will catch you next stream. See you guys. Chase out. Thank you, sir. 